Hey guys, now we come our next practice. So this practice we involve uh, with a half wheel pose or uh, we can say even the half moon pose and the forward fold so that it will be alternate practice. So in that practice just sit straight and a little gap in between your both legs. So here we go, you are both hands up first, inhale and exhale then bend back. You bend back, you can one, two, three, enough, inhale, come back. Exhale now, bend forward in the uh, Padhastasana in the forward fold. Come on, inhale, then up, both hands up. Exhale, bend back. Just only hold one, two, three, four. Inhale, come back. Exhale, bend down. Good, one, two, three, four. Come on, third time. Inhale up. Exhale, bend back. One, two, three, four. Come on, inhale, come back. Exhale, bend down very good here we go the fourth time inhale come up exhale bend back very good one two three four come on inhale come back exhale bend down very good here we go the fifth time inhale come up exhale bend back one two three four come on inhale come back exhale bend down Good. So here we go one more time, six time, and this time we will hold a bit longer. Come on. Inhale now up and exhale, then bend back. And now just stay here, breathing normal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. Inhale, come back. Exhale, bend down. For the relaxation, alternate. One, two, three, four five and now six okay so here i also want to say like in some cases somebody might be is a very difficult to both hands up and then do the arch back so in this case we can do the another option you can put your hands on the back good same way inhale and exhale now bend back so this is another option you can try back bending flexibility depends on you inhale come back and exhale now bend forward good so this is uh, the another option for you guys first option is difficult so you can try with the second option okay relax so this practice can be very helpful to increase the stamina and uh, it's good to increase the flexibility in your spine and this is also good for uh, reduce your uh, body fat okay thank you hey guys uh, now we go the second level of the wheel pose uh, the complete wheel pose so Prada will show you like how to practice the wheel pose you just uh, the same way like we did before legs open a bit apart you can hands on the back or you can both hands up inhale slowly control yourself exhalation slowly slowly just try to bend down slow 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 good so you can see if you have enough flexibility you can close the gap and just stay as maximum you can one two three four five six seven keep lifting up keep lifting up arm straight nine and now ten good come back try slowly slowly very good bend forward bend forward bend forward for relaxation relax so good hey guys uh, now we go over next practice now the pose we choose that is the triangle pose we will go the both side uh, left and the right and then uh, we will also practice the reverse triangle so open your both legs sideways so turn your uh, right foot on the right side good open arms your shoulder level inhale and exhale drop your right hand down so you can use uh, your palm you can use your uh, fingertip you can use arch of the fingertip and just look up so you can see your both arms and shoulder align hold for a few seconds about the 10 10 seconds three four five six seven eight nine and now ten slowly come back good so we go the other side on your left side left foot left side make sure your both leg heel align 
drop your left hand down and uh, right hand up look up just stay here one two three four five six seven eight nine and now then very nice come back you can see this posture is uh, engage your legs your hip your side vest so we go the next one that is a reverse triangle so the same way open your legs sidewise so we'll go on the right side first turn your right foot right side good turn your uh, hip on the right so here you have to be cross your leg like cross your right leg with the left hand and then your right hand up and just look up so same thing your both legs straight your hip square just try and then just one two three four five six seven eight nine and now ten come back now slowly 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 good relax for a second the same way another side come on Close the leg and your hand up and then straight. So you can see the same alignment you have to maintain your both arms, shoulder aligned, your hip square. One, you can see in the twist in your whole body. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now. And come on. Good boy. Legs together. So nice. So you can see the triangle and the reverse triangle. This is all the one combination with the triangle pose. Very effective pose. Okay guys, here we go our next practice that is the camel pose. In camel pose, uh, we will introduce you some different variations. We will start from basic level and then we'll go step by step. So first sit in the Vajrasana and after just stand on your knees. So we will do the first very basic practice. Uh, put your both hands on your back on your lower mid back elbow closer Good and now inhale Exhale and slowly bend back Drop your head down and just stay one Two Three Four Initially you're just taking your the neck like here so you can keep strength to your neck six seven eight nine and now ten slowly come back inhale exhale sit down palm on your knee and just relax we'll go the second time the second variation stand on your knees your feet a little apart from each other yes the same guy hold your left ankle with the left hand right hand up inhale and exhale then bend back same take your neck one two three four five six seven eight nine and out and okay relax come back after every round just have a few seconds relaxation here we go the same practice another side good hold your ankle you can hold the heel drop the head down your hand down very good pranav now understand one two three four normal breathing five six seven eight nine ten come back relax again so these are some basic variations we'll go now the third practice again stand on the knee so that practice is almost belong to the last one so this time from your left hand you have to hold your right ankle <coughs> opposite side yes your right hand up and the same way like before so it will affect or more on your uh, upper body your shoulder upper back twist three four five six eight nine and now ten come on come back relax again 
other side now hold uh, your ankle opposite just adjust yourself and very slowly slowly bend back one your hip your stomach your shoulder your whole body engaged five six seven eight nine and now ten come back relax again okay for uh, we go the next one this is the complete camel pose so this time you have to try to hold your both ankle together <laughs> so we are showing you different different variations so you can choose any variation which is suitable for you or even you can go like all variations step by step one by one now hold your both ankles hold the ankle you can hold the heel and then just try one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, and now ten. Slowly come back and relax again. Relax, relax. Few seconds, just relax. So here we go. The last practice that is a bit hyper practice. So if you can, you can try. Prana will give you the demonstration of that practice. Come on, stand on the knee. So this is the Raj Kapot Asana, the King Pigeon Pose. So this practice we need the enough strength, enough flexibility. So Prana will try slowly. Yes, you have to hold the ankle. Very good. So just stay for a while. So you can see this one we need enough flexibility. If you are a beginner, so please uh, do not try that practice. But if you feel that you have enough flexibility, so you can try for that. Hold for some seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now ten. Come back. So nice. So nice. Just relax. Sitting position. And now you can be the child position. Child pose. This is the very nice pose for the relaxation. Just relax. so good practice relax relax 